So Josh, you joined Rovers on a three-month loan from Southampton. How do you feel about that? Yeah, no, I'm delighted now it's all gone through. Um, it's something that I was looking forward to, um, getting out, playing football again. Um, and I think the way that Doncaster plays is going to be ideal for me. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the challenge and, and playing games for them. Of course, it, it, the deal's gone through on deadline day, but has it been in the pipeline for a good few days now? Yeah, it has. I think um, I spoke with the manager um, and he sort of just explained to me how, how you guys play and, and he said it's, I think it'd be a good fit um, and I've heard good things about the manager too. So, no, it's, I think it all sort of fell in place uh, quite quickly and yeah, I'm happy to get it done. Of course, you've had a couple of loan spells while at Southampton with Reading and New York Red Bulls. How keen were you to get out and play some football this season as well? Yeah, I mean, it, obviously it's unfortunate with the whole COVID thing. Um, whilst I was out in America, so I came back a bit earlier than expected. Um, so yeah, I mean, I just want to play football. That's what everybody wants and, and I think this would be a good opportunity for me. How did that experience in America sort of mould you as a player and help develop your character on and off the pitch? Yeah, it's definitely different going out there. Um, it's a good experience for sort of just off the field as well and, and on the field. So. It was it was tough moving away, you know, to a different country, but I enjoyed it. Um, but no, it's, I think it's put me in good stead now to sort of push on in my career. In terms of what Darren Moore's got in place here at Rovers, a lot of young players have come in and blossomed there. Is that something you're hoping to, to follow that route as well? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I looked at the squad and I've seen the players that he brought in, and they're all young players, um, similar situations to myself, looking to just play regular football, um, and he can he can give that opportunity to me. So. Yeah, I mean, I looked at the squad list, I know a couple of players um, as well, I've seen seen played against them, so yeah, no, I'm looking forward to playing. What can Rovers fans expect from you on the pitch and how would you describe yourself as a player? Um, so I'm an out-and-out -out winger, I've, I've grown up uh, at Southampton playing left or right wing, um, I like to take on players, we drive out and be quite exciting, create opportunities, uh, score and create chances, so yeah, I mean, I'm quite a... Uh, I say now, now winger. Um, hopefully, I'm quite excited to watch. So, uh, hopefully, I can give that to the fans. You played a few games in the Premier League for Southampton as well over over the past few years since yeah. making your debut. When you're coming up against tough defenders, how does that develop your game as well? Do you have to sort of find different ways in getting the better of them? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm I'm very quick. So, when I was younger, I always sort of relied on my pace. Uh, but when you start getting up against you know, top top defenders, you can't just rely on that. So, you need to be different. You need to be clever. Um, so I think I've learned a lot, even in training at Southampton, being with the first team, um, you know, just learning different ways of being smarter. So no, it's definitely helped me growing up and learning different ways to, to attack. Of course, it's strange how it works in football. You join Rovers on deadline day, the day after you could be going up against Southampton's mm -hmm. biggest rivals yeah. in Portsmouth. Was that one thing you looked for on the fixture list? Yeah, you know, it, it was good timing, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's a shame the fans aren't there to you know, give me a bit of stick. <laughs> but no, it would be a good one to start off.